Welcome back everybody, this is Rito here with another Anna the Archer Let's Play. We are playing on Revengeance mode using the Calamity mod, and we're doing just bows. So currently we have defeated the Poltergeist, and we are ready to fight the Devourer of Gods. Between episodes, I created some connections between some of these arenas that I've made. And so I've this is the main one I built, and then I just connected the other arenas that I've already had built for other reasons. So we've got essentially a runway that goes all the way to the dungeon. I may extend it past the dungeon a little bit, but for now I think that's probably good. Kill that harpy. I've also crafted 4,000 bloodfire arrows, and these have a lot of damage, and they also heal you for a small amount of the damage that you do to your enemies. And then I've re-equipped this bow right here. We've not really used it yet, but apparently it can pierce through the Devourer of Gods and do a lot of damage. Getting a little nervous. So we've got Luminite, Bloodfire, and the Elysian Arrows. I think Luminite is going to be better for fighting the Devourer of Gods because it will double hit at the head, whereas the meteors that spawn from Elysian arrows won't hit them. So that's that's kind of what I'm thinking, but we'll have to just try it out. Let's get this started. Hoping for something that's not a colossal fail. gotta hit the head. You know what, I'm gonna try using this one. There we go, that's doing some damage. That's good. Okay. Yeah, this bow is actually really good. And once we start hitting, throw on some adrenaline. Dang, this is a long fight. <laughs> this is only first form, too. Second form's gonna be crazy. There we go. Got the first form defeated. Now we gotta fight the Ceaseless Void and all the other bosses. I think this boss fight is more like an endurance thing than anything. Okay, we got the Storm Weaver. Let's see how this weapon does on it.
Do I need to fight him in the sky or something? Okay, I need to hit his backside. Ooh, this weapon destroys him. This is great. That was fast. And let's get Cygnus real quick. And here we go. Time for the real boss. Oh man, I just don't want to die instantly. Okay. Oh man, I'm getting nervous. Oh, I hate this boss. I need to get the rhythm going. Okay, we're almost to 50%, which is when lasers is going to start. This is easy still. Oh no, laser started. Oh crud, that was horrible. Oh no, making mistakes, this is bad. This arrows for a little bit. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know what was happening at the last bit. <sighs> Man. It looks like what got me was getting hit by him when he teleported once or twice. And that really messed me up. We are back at base, and this is actually the next day for me. I've done a bit of thinking and research about the Devourer of Gods, and I've determined a few things. First, I think we should switch our Elysian Aegis with this Asgard's Valor. I think that's actually going to help us out. It's going to give us more life and more life regen. So we'll put that on right now, and we've got that to Menacing. I've got most of our stuff to Menacing. I do have Warding for the Daedalus Emblem and the Deific Amulet, but everything else, well, I guess I've got Warding Affliction as well. So the other thing I was working on took quite a while, and let me show you what we did. I have built two platforms, because what I realized is that the worm, when I was following this path so close to the ground, it would be underground a lot of the time and I couldn't do any damage, and then it would swoop up and attack me. So what I've done is created a path all the way across half of my world that is about 10 blocks apart and pretty high in the sky to where the worm's going to be floating below me, and I'll be able to do damage to it constantly, whether it's below or above me. I've also removed two of the planetoids right here, and I removed an island that was really low-hanging because it was going to get in the way. So I think it's time to start it up, and we just really need practice on this. So let's get this going. Oh, 
I've also seen people doing lots of dashing, and that seems to be helping people to go much faster. Definitely not getting him to where I want him. I don't know how some people are able to control him so well. But I'm doing better damage, I think, this time. Sometimes it's kind of confusing watching videos because they're doing an old version of the boss and he's been updated. Okay, one thing I want to try is my other bow. Seems like I can do some pretty good damage with it. Okay, so it seems like Luminite arrows are doing pretty well against them. I think I'm going to switch to Luminite. Yeah, that's much better damage. There we go, that was super slow, but we got him. And this part's easy. I just need to not do anything stupid. In fact, I'm gonna zoom my map out a little bit. That should help. I'm glad there's not really a time limit on this boss. Okay, got him down. Wow, that's fast. And we just need to get Cygnus. Okay, now we need to get Sirius. Okay, we've almost got him to 60%. Which means... We are gonna have the horrible part of this fight starting soon. Oh my goodness. That was not good. That was a bit sloppy, but we can survive. Okay, we need to stay alive for 23 seconds.
Oh crap. No! 11%! I don't even know what happened there. He just got crazy. Oh man. We'll get him. We just need to get those mechanics down a little bit better. And overall, using Luminite arrows seems to be helping a ton compared to all my other arrows. So let's go ahead and start it up. That was so much faster for that pace. We're already to 50% health. <laughs> so cool. That was close. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we should be able to get him right here real easy. There we go. We'll heal up and start these annoying guys. and Cygnus. Cygnus should be pretty easy to get. Got him. Okay, now comes the fun part. That was close. <laughs> and he's gonna come around. Oh, he teleported. That was pretty smooth.
Okay, now it's gonna get crazy. Take that! Take that, mister! Got him! Yes! Got him! Whew! I think that is three tries. Yeah, that is three tries. Oh, that feels so good. I don't know if I said a single word that entire fight. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. It was so focused. Oh my goodness. That feels good. The Devourer of Gods. Place in your inventory to boost your true melee damage by 50%. However, due to your reckless nature, you will take increased damage. That's interesting. Really cool for true melee classes, but I'm not doing melee, so... Let's uh, head on back to base, where we can feel nice and safe from scary enemies like the Devourer of Gods. I'm going to put that away. And put away our lore piece before we forget about it. And now we can look through our awesome treasure bag. Let's go to the top of our castle. Sweet. There we go. So we have an awesome rogue weapon. Then we have a summoner mech worm staff. And then we have this really cool sword. And the most important thing, Cosmolite. We can craft so much cool stuff with Cosmolite. Well, I think that is a great stopping point for this episode. We've defeated the Devourer of Gods. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. And I will see you next time.